Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here from the YouTube channel, Coach in the Fight. I just wanted to come over here and tell you guys about Second Passover. Now, Second Passover is for those of us who missed First Passover. There was a rule instituted back there with Moses for those who were unclean or on a journey could actually partake in Passover in the second month. Well, because this is not our land, I think we all qualify under the caveat that we are actually sojourning in this foreign land so we can actually take advantage of second Passover. Now, this was instituted back with Moses, but there is a time when the whole nation of Israel participated in second Passover. And that's back there with Hezekiah, who reunited both Judah and the 10 tribes of Israel for second Passover. And that brings me to a major point about Passover in general. Passover is the marriage supper between us and our Messiah. You remember back in the Gospels when the Messiah served what we call the Last Supper? Well, that bread and that wine on the night of Passover is our RSVP to the marriage supper. In other words, those who do not participate in Passover do not plan to attend the marriage supper altogether, they will be the unwise virgins who will be sent back to find the oil. Well, in this year, 2022, second Passover falls on May the 14th. That will be right after sunset when we will take the communion ceremony, the bread and the wine in remembrance of our Messiah as he commanded us in the gospel. Again, that is the evening of May the 14th. Now, if you have one of our celestial clock calendars, you already know the date of second Passover. This clock calendar invented by our channel will indicate the date of second Passover by pointing to the 14th day of the sacred month. Find out more about this clock in the description, including how we can make you one just like it. But anyway, the following evening, May 15th, begins the week-long Feast of Unleavened Bread. And it should be noted that that blood moon that everybody's talking about in May 2022, which also creates a pinnacle, which what I believe falls in the middle of the seven years of plenty and the seven years of famine. This blood moon would be a major sign of the importance of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And it is during that week, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, that we are supposed to read our scripture concentrating on the word of God and rejecting all human doctrine like churches and religious programming so that we can get back to the basics, back to the scripture, back to what our father really wants us to know, which can only be found in the word of God. So subscribe to this channel. Check out our channel over there at YouTube for more information on the feast days. Leave me a comment and shalom.